NRG GY018 or Keynote 868 was a prospective phase three international randomized placebo controlled and blinded clinical trial that looked to determine how the addition of pembrolizumab, an immune checkpoint inhibitor, to standard of care chemotherapy, carboplatin and paclitaxel, followed by maintenance pembrolizumab, of course, or placebo, would result in a benefit with respect to progression-free survival in patients with advanced stage or recurrent endometrial cancer. The DMMR, or mismetropare deficient population, the median progression-free survival in the pembrolizumab arm of the trial was not reached versus a median progression-free survival of 7.6 months with placebo. And that was reflective of a 70% reduction in the risk of disease progression or death. And the preliminary overall survival data for this trial are consistent with that finding. Of course, we have to wait for that data to mature. In the mismetropare proficient population, which is a large chunk of endometrial cancer patients, where we really haven't been able to identify effective therapeutic strategies, in NRG GY018, we again saw a 46% reduction in the risk of disease progression or death. So the median progression-free survival in the pembrolizumab arm of that population was 13.1 months versus 8.7 months with placebo. And that was a significant difference. And hopefully these findings will translate into our ability to incorporate immunotherapy for both the DMMR and the PMMR patients. I was thrilled with the results of this trial. I was thrilled with the impact that we anticipate this will have in both the DMMR and the PMMR population. But in the same breath, it invigorates me and excites me to ask the next question. And so for all of us, our task is to say, this is an incredible accomplishment. How can we capitalize on this? How can we design the next set of trials? How can we improve on these outcomes? And so my hope is that this is hopefully will catalyze and kind of drive that, that enthusiasm so that we can continue to improve the lives of women with these cancers.